Now, after a lot of requests, I finally managed to get some time out to talk about the merit scholarships and financial aid at Aga Khan University Medical College. Now, this video won't be very long as there is not much to say here. However, we were if we were to divide everything up into stages, first you must pass the test, then you must clear the interview, and it is only when you are given admission that you can apply for financial aid. So no, you do not apply for financial aid before the test or interview. After all this, at the end, AKU gives out the five merit scholarships. You do not apply for these, but rather the institute decides itself whom to give and whom not to give. Now let's talk about the merit scholarships in a bit more detail. Five students from the incoming batch are provided with these merit scholarships. That's the number one thing to note. Secondly, these are merit based. And alongside another thing to note is that these are also need based, although they are not explicitly stated as such. And lastly, this is not for the entire five year plan, but rather only for the first year. What all of this basically means is that only five out of 100 students will get these. Secondly, for merit, they will primarily look at how good you performed on the test because that's how it has been for the past few years. However, you should also note that this is need based, which means that even if you scored amazing on the test, they will look at whether you can pay the fees without receiving the merit scholarship or not. If you can, then the chances are very, very low that you will be provided with this merit scholarship. Now, in order to maintain this 100% scholarship, those five students have to ensure that they remain in the top 15% at the end of every year in their batch in order to maintain it. So that is every year you must be performing at least in the top 15 and that is only when your merit scholarship will continue. Otherwise, the merit scholarship is going to be nullified. Once again, you do not ask for the merit scholarship. The institute decides itself. Now moving on to financial aid, there are two types, financial assistance and grant slash loan. The difference between the two is that financial assistance does not need to be returned while grant has to be paid back to the institute once you complete your MBBS and start earning as a doctor. A good thing to note here is that there are no set number of students who will be provided with these. This is completely need based. Now, some of the documents which are needed to be filled out in order to fill the financial aid form are the following. Bank statement, utility bills, house rent, and much more which I don't really recall now. But to get it straight, they will ask for literally everything based on official documentation so you cannot misguide them here. After you are done applying, after a few weeks, AKU will get back to all students who applied and give their decision. Something to be noted here is that AKU also gives its students a chance to appeal. That is, if you believe you deserved financial assistance but weren't given or the amount provided by the institute is not good enough, you can request them to review your profile again. Another thing that I would like to state here is that once financial aid is handed out, you have the option to not accept the offer and withdraw from the institute. More like, you once again have to decide at this point whether you want to join AKU or not. Even after merit scholarship and up till the first month of medical school, anyone who leaves the program is replaced by someone from the waitlist. However, if someone leaves after the first month, there is no replacement and the seat is wasted. Hence, always make a decision latest by the first month there. Lastly, if you like this video, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Maybe give this video a big thumbs up and follow us on Instagram for personalized tutoring or counseling sessions. Till the next time, Khuda Hafiz.